Africa Rise Grain Quality Evaluation, Supporting Rice Technology Development in Africa. Rice is unique because unlike other cereals, the harvested product cannot be eaten directly as food, and the quality of the milled grain is determined more by the starch properties than by the protein amount and quality. Milling in rice refers to the removal of the husk and polishing of the bran layers while in other cereals, milling is simply grinding or size reduction. Rice grain quality has two main dimensions. The physical quality and cooking properties. At Africa Rice, these aspects are determined in its grain quality lab and the information is passed on to the plant breeders to help them develop rice varieties that are higher yielding, stress tolerant as well as endowed with acceptable grain qualities. The grain quality lab simulates to some degree the functions of a commercial mill. A commercial rice mill usually consists of three main units, namely the dehusker which removes the husk, the polisher or whitener which removes the bran, and the grater which separates brokens from whole grains. In a lab setting however, these units are separated to enable the systematic evaluation of paddy grains as they go through the milling process. The lab dehusker is made up of two rubber rolls rotating in opposite directions with one moving at twice the speed of the other. The setup ensures that paddy grains passing through the rolls are dehusked. The dehusked brown rice collects in a receptacle and the husk is aspirated into another receiver. The dehusked grains are then passed through a lab whitener or polisher that removes the bran as a result of friction among the grains and between the grains and the inner steel screen. The milled grains are collected in the front of the whitener while the bran is collected in a receiver behind the equipment. During the milling process, some grains inevitably break but the objective of rice milling is to reduce this to a minimum and to maximize the return of whole grains. A lab broken separator is used to determine the level of brokens in a milled rice sample. After milling, Several other analyzes can be carried out on the grains, and for some of these analyzes, the grains should be milled into flour. To do this a cyclone mill is used, and this ensures that the grains are milled into very fine flour for subsequent utilization. It is important to know the level of moisture in rice grains to be analyzed. At the Africa Rice Grain Quality Lab, there is an equipment known as the single grain moisture meter which is programmed to determine the moisture content of 100 individual grains and give the average value. This shows whether the grains are of uniform moisture distribution or not. Before analysis, The Africa Rice Grain Quality Lab also measures the hardness of rice grains using a grain hardness tester. Grain hardness as well as the moisture content are important parameters that determine the levels of breakage during milling. A color meter or chroma meter is used to measure the color coordinates of different rice varieties. It can also help to determine the degree of milling of the rice and the intensity of parboiling of a rice sample. The gelatinization temperature of a rice sample gives an indication of cooking time of the rice. This can either be directly measured or indirectly estimated by using the alkali spreading value. A quantity of dilute potassium hydroxide is put on six grains in a dish and left overnight. The following day, it can be seen that the alkali has dissolved the grains to different degrees according to the hardness of the grains. 
the extent to which the alkali dissolves the grains gives an indication of the gelatinization temperature and rice can be classified into low intermediate and high gelatinization temperature groups. The rice statistic analyzer is a quick and versatile method for digitally determining the level of chalkiness in rice grains as well as measuring the grain dimensions in a single run. Africa Rice Grain Quality Scientist Dr. John Manfel says. Um, what we do when we get these um, samples from the breeders is um, we look at the physical quality in which the, 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 the sample come. We want to be sure that it is free of all impurities and then we polish the rice. We look at the grain characteristics and shape in terms of shape and size. We also look at um, the starch properties which has got a relationship with um, the eating quality. We also look at the color, see whether it is the kind of color which is attractive to uh, consumers. And then we provide all this information to the breeders. According to Dr. Kareem Traore, grain quality and seed system expert at Africa Rise. We are here to, to help first the breeders. So anything that coming from the fields should be acceptable by the consumers. The Grain Quality Lab at Africa Rice carries out research and provides technical support to Africa Rice researchers in developing the Arica Rice varieties that are in the pipeline for release. For more information on Africa Rice, visit www.africarice.org.